Can you imagine traveling across the entire world and you still manage to get slop dominoes, dude? Out of all the pizza places, out of all the cultured foods you can get, if you're traveling to another location that's not the United States, I would, why would you ever go to slop ass dominoes, dude? The fast food places that you could just get anytime, anywhere in America, you go there and you get this dominoes, man? What is the purpose, dude? You're all, you're going to one of the most cultured places in the entire world, dude. I, I, I'm actually pretty sure that Taiwan has more Chinese culture than China itself after what was happening in the early 20th century up to the late 20th century, right? After what, you know, Xi Jinping, was it Xi Jinping? Mao Zedong, sorry, I get them mixed up every once in a while. After like, he did like a complete purge of all the Chinese culture because he wanted to be the number one god over there or whatever the fuck, dude. But it's such, it's such a crazy thing that even when she goes to a different location, somehow, some way, she somehow still manages to completely ignore the culture, completely ignore the food, the cultural food, it, and instead <laughs> got it, got to indulge in the, the Americanized food, I guess, dude. I mean, it's an easier one for me too, as well. I mean, it, 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 wherever I'm going out to eat, I'm always getting a burger and fry. That's gonna be default. You can't really ever mess up burger and fry. It's pretty impossible, in my opinion, unless you're going to like one of those places where they have really, really dry burgers i know you know what i'm talking about like the most the most moisture on the burger itself would just be the cheese which is diabolical like you put it in your mouth and just <laughs> it's so dry but let's watch jelly bean sweets um if you guys didn't know she is in taiwan right now she traveled there solo by the way solo which is really depressing in my opinion i don't know uh why if you're traveling somewhere even if you don't have like a boyfriend or a girlfriend what about family friends you don't have family or friends that can go with you no none of them Okay, um, I would have thought that she would have been able to pay for them at the very bare minimum too. She's in a really, really expensive bougie hotel with multiple rooms and multiple bathrooms. And she was even in like the first class, first class where she had a, a whole recliner and a bed that she was sleeping in. I would have thought that she would have spent some extra money on another person to come through, but I guess not. And instead she came here by herself, which again, very depressing. I don't like out of all the times you could have went to another place. Solo traveling to me is just really, really crazy. But anyway. Damn. Still on it, dude. I mean, even you, you got to give her that. Some, sometimes I see her hand, and I think that that hand does not look. It doesn't look reflectionary to the to the size of her body, right? Doesn't her hand look unusually small, like a baby's hand? Am I wrong? Does this look like? Doesn't that look like a baby's hand to you? Am I? I, I could be wrong on this, dude. But the the proportions, because the wrist is giving like a lot of thickness, but the hand itself doesn't really. It doesn't increase in value. Because it's just bones, right? But the, the wrist and all this other stuff has more fat receptors than the rest of your body compared to your hand. And usually if you do gain weight in your hand, it's usually in this area right here. And as you can see, the knuckles in and of themselves have started to indent. Which I've, I've seen this phenomenon before. When you start gaining a lot of weight, the knuckles indent because the fat around the area starts to, to grow up. And the knuckles can't, they can't, they can't grow fat because that's a joint, right? So they'd be counterproductive to grow fat over a joint. That's why if you ever see like fat people and they have like the, the I don't even know what you want to call it, the chicken wing or whatever you want to call it. The, the elbow is almost always barren of fat. Same thing with the kneecaps, same thing with the ankles. You don't gain weight in those areas because that's counterproductive to be a human being. It's kind of crazy how God thought this all up, but I don't think God ever thought about how somebody was going to be so goddamn fat that they would have to like use their elbow at 400, 500, 600 pounds. But that's how we, our bodies are designed. You're beautiful and I'm beautiful. Think about that. Even if you're 500 pounds, you can still bend your elbow. That's amazing. I mean, to be honest though, if you're 500 pounds, there's not really much you're going to be doing with that bendable elbow to begin with. You're probably going to use one of those long stick things that they have at the Chinese dollar store and they make fun of you because you're sitting there like, can, can I get that thing at the very top shelf? And then they come over and look at you like, are you even going to buy it if I get this down for you? Probably not, dude. I don't know why this is so high up. Like no man can walk into this store and see a shelf that's eight feet tall and think I'm going to go up here and try to grab that shit, dude. I'm not going to do that. All right. Anyway. I think she just has an unusually big head. It might just be because she's gained weight over the last few months. Her face has increased in width. It's just dominoes. Like, it's just what it is. The most basic pizza, pizza genre out there. Is, there's really nothing you can say about it. It is a cheesy crust. I'll give her that. But that doesn't necessarily make the pizza any better. It just makes it a little more high in calorie. By yourself, man, in Taiwan, and you're still body slamming American delicacies. Eyebrows look good. Hair looks fribbled. I don't know what happened there, dude. 
And you, you know, I see a lot of people when they get their hair done or did it, sorry, I got my hair did it, right? I see a lot of those people getting it done once and they think that the maintenance of that hair doesn't need to be kept up on. It, it you didn't need you didn't need to keep up the maintenance. Yeah, it's just what it is, okay? Uh y- your hair will get fribbled and dried out and the dead ends will start accruing again. You're gonna need to put in some work, hair masks, protein masks, whatever you do. Um, but it seems like for Jelly Bean Sweets, that's not really much of a priority for her because she got other things on her mind. You know what? Me too, bro. I got other things on my mind too. I don't really care about my hair as well. But the difference is nobody judges me on my hair. Well, maybe a few people. But uh, I, I think that if you don't value your hair, it's fine. But I'm pretty sure she does value her hair because she tries to get it done every chance she gets. But she goes to salons to do it and doesn't like after like three days, it's, it gets fribbled again. Domino's in Taiwan, mukbang, dude. Right here, the American Taiwanian dream. What is that? Taiwanesian? Taiwanesian? Ta- what is it? I'm Taiwanese? Is it just I'm Taiwanese? Beautiful. Body slamming an entire large pizza for yourself. What a beautiful life we have here. God damn. I know a lot of people were saying that she didn't actually eat the food or like she would take those multiple bites and like spit it out. I look, she might be doing that. She might be doing that. But I know for damn sure since she's been in Taiwan, she's been actually finishing the food. And in the process of doing that, her herself have been finished. I don't know how she has the energy reserves that she does. It seems like all she's doing in Taiwan right now is periodically going outside and then maintaining probably the majority of the time in the hotel which doesn't make any sense to me um she bought a really really expensive beautiful hotel i will agree um it's it's actually not as expensive as i thought it was going to be which is like 160 bucks every single day which is a lot of money but it's not a lot of money for what she paid for but i would not be spending 168 dollars every single day day in day out i don't even know how much that is by the end of the month dude what is that like four thousand dollars in rent literally in a in this uh, i guess it's actually not too for what she's paying it's not too bad like i know a lot of people where i live that are paying like two thousand dollars for a one bedroom so i guess in that in that spectrum she's got like a furnished apartment basically and she's only paying like four thousand dollars a month or is it four thousand might be more than that it might be like closer to five thousand but either way it's a lot of money and she's maintaining this house she's just like chilling in here just getting fast food day in day out and when she goes outside she gets basic bitch taiwanese food and it's like shit that you just buy at like 7-eleven it's actually kind of depressing oh and the pepsi of course the bebzy tater tots of course gotta get the tater tots she is finishing the food uh, she does do full mukbangs on her channel. I don't know if she's posting like the full videos anywhere else though. I mean, maybe you might get a little bit more revenue if she posts this on like a, oh, no, wait, no, you can't actually post anything on OnlyFans with food, right? Somebody told me that you can't use food items on OnlyFans, which is why not, dude? What are you talking about? Like a little bit of whipped cream, a little bit of, you know, or a little bit of chocolate syrup, sweet baby rays, whatever. Dude. There's, a, there's a few different food items that I understand why you wouldn't want that, particularly on your platform. Olives um maybe cucumbers uh corn i get that but whipped cream dude i mean i guess it increases your chance by 20 percent to get a uti if you're putting it on the, the wrong place but overall that's probably not too bad right am i wrong in saying that dude what if there was a guy that was like to, yeah hey guys guess what in today's only fans video we're gonna do something completely different because guys can't really do much on only fans to begin with right i mean i'm bringing this up because this is obviously feeder content right so but guys can't really do much on OnlyFans. I guess they could beat off. Like, that's really all you can do. And then maybe, um, I don't know, put stuff in your ass. That's, like, it. I guess you can, like, get anal beads and just rip them out. Like, you're some kind of, like, you're RP and as a lawnmower or something like that. I, there's not much guys can do. I guess you could just uh, randomly beat off with random other stuff. So, like, today we're going to beat off with Sherbert. Or tomorrow we're going to beat off with... I don't know, dude. Gamer girl bathwater that I bought off this other OnlyFans. Well, I don't know, dude. It's like you're not actually having sex with her, but you're kind of having sex with her emotionally and a little bit kind of. But then that's like also kind of like if you think you're having sex with a girl because you're using her bathwater technically, then that would be the equivalent of like shaking another man's hand when he didn't wash his hand. So he has the meat residue on his hand from him beating off. And then you put that on your hand. So technically when you beat off with the meat residue of that guy's hand, you are gay by proxy. You know what I'm talking about? It's the same thing, technically, right? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know even what we're talking about. Damn. 
damn the way she eats it so fast too like from the time she puts it in her mouth i'm only going back about five seconds so that means there's probably literally about five seconds worth of chewing or a little bit less in the mouth and then it's just gone right there it's gone literally i mean it, you have to you have to you have to do that though if you're eating this quantity of food if you're eating this amount of food as frequently as she is it's pretty impossible to not and you need to not enjoy the food literally because there's nothing else you eat too frequently for you to enjoy the food so she, just just let everybody know she had the chicken tenders this these chicken tenders right here and then she had the domino's pizza with the cheesy crust and then she also had the tater tots to top it off which is insane that's like two different that's like one side and two main dishes i mean they do be getting views dude 134,000 uh upvotes bro good for you she making bank dude i can see why she got that outrageously expensive hotel and she traveled across the country in a plane uh first class so i can see i just hate the noises dude even at the lowest audio setting it's still uncomfortable i just got a place called pizza rock so let me show you what all i got so i'm here in taiwan um I was debating getting Domino's or this, but I don't know. Pizza Rock might be. I was debating getting Domino's or this. I guess it, it doesn't really matter at that point. I mean, it's basically the same shit, right? Pizza is pizza. You can't really fuck up pizza. There have been a few times I have gotten a really bad pizza, but it's very few and far between. It's like a cheeseburger. You can't fuck up a cheeseburger. Like, what are you guys even doing? If you fuck up a cheeseburger, I'm never going back. That's insane. It's like fucking up, um, like, deep fried food. Most of it's just the batter. Like, most people don't even know what the inside of the food actually is. Nobody's buying it for the inside food. They're just buying it for the batter on the outside. In the United States, I'm not sure, but it just looks good, so... Okay, so I got some wings. I'm gonna try bone-in wings. I'm not sure what sauce that is. Bone-in wings. I thought that was just called wings. I, if, you're getting bo if you're getting no boned wings, aren't those just tenders? I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the default recognition for those things are just wings right bone and wings am i wrong in saying that i don't know it looks kind of hot and then this looks maybe like a garlic mayo sort of thing yeah she really traveled across the world just to eat the same food bro it's so crazy to me i think it comes with some parmesan too how cute dude they put that shit in one of those like cocaine bags dude you mayo sort of thing yeah yo bro right there dude that's that shit they'll be selling on the street right there i think it comes <laughs> with some parmesan you might fool a couple people okay also it's so cool that they uh most delivery people uh, deliver on um, mo motorbikes, mopeds. Ooh. Is that cool? I've been seeing a lot more people where I live that have the motors, the motorbikes and mopeds as well. I don't know what you want to, uh, the Vespers or whatever you want to call them. I see a lot of dudes nowadays doing that shit. It's actually such a big problem here where I live that they're actually trying to crack down on it because these dudes are literally parking their bikes on the sidewalks, on the, the corners of streets and stuff like that. And it's always Puerto Rican dudes blasting like crazy music, dude. That same like boom, ba do ba, boom, ba do ba. They're not doing anything either. There's like a culmination of like 50 Puerto Rican dudes all lined up horizontally, bike, 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 and they're all sitting on bikes. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what like I can't walk up to them, ask them what they're doing because I think I might get stabbed. But they're just not talking to each other either. Like there's no communication. They're literally just like on their phone. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe playing Pokemon Go. What what games do Puerto Rican dudes play when they drive mopeds? I have no idea. But they were just they just sit there all day on mopeds doing nothing. And I know they do that too cuz I remember one time I was out and I was out with this person and we were just like casually walking around. And I saw these dudes at like 1 p.m. and then we came back at like 8 and they were still there. It was the same guys. I know it was the same guys. And they were still there. And I was like, did you guys do anything in between that 1 and 8 p.m.? Like, is, is that just all you do all day? Like, I don't know, man. Like, it's just so weird to me. Maybe they're doing Uber Eats, but I doubt it. That looks good. Of course, I got a pizza. It has, um, I added the black olives. Normally, it doesn't come with black olives. It doesn't, uh, it looks like pizza. It looks like oven pizza. It looks like oven pizza, like DiGiorno. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I feel like I could probably buy this at star market or like a walmart or something but it's seafood so it looks like there's some shrimp maybe some what do you mean it looks like it's shrimp did you not know what you were ordering couldn't you just put it in like copy and paste it into google translate and then see what you was ordering why are you questioning what it is did you not read what it was crab or squid why do you not know i honestly don't know why why do you not know what do you just order shit and like the dude picks up 
And then he go, what the hell? What the motherfucking hell do you want? Uh, whatever you want to order, I don't care. I'm just going to put random stuff on your order and then you're going to have to eat it. Is that what it was, dude? What, what did you order? You don't know? How do you not know? Did, did they not tell you? But it looks good. I also got a Dr. Pepper. I have not seen these anywhere. Um, so I don't know if they get these. Um, that shit is fribble, dude. From Oof, the United States. Right. So. What are you washing your hair with? You gotta be washing your hair with gravel or something, dude. <sighs> Tastes so good, though. Try a slice of this pizza. It's falling apart. Why even bother mm -hmm. putting your hands in front? It just makes it seem like your head is so massive compared to your hand. When I see this hand in front of her face, I'm just like, that, that your hand is, why is your hand so goddamn small? It's like a baby hand, dude. It's like, you ever see Mini Me from Austin Powers? I think his hand might have been a little bit bigger than yours. Mm. I, that is good. I don't think I've ever seen her eat something that she said it wasn't good. Well, there might have been like one or two times where she said it wasn't the best, but she still bodied it regardless. So I guess it really doesn't even matter at all. You know what? This background also makes me think that she lives in like a nature. It looks cool, but it, like I said, it makes me think that she's like, you ever watch Jurassic Park way back in the day? And there was like a, there was like that fence. This is like, I feel like she's in like an exhibit for ant, for a whole bunch of like dinosaurs or something. Oh, she's also got the Dr. Pepper shirt on too, representing. First time trying seafood on pizza, and that works. I guess. I mean, there's really not much on pizza that wouldn't work. I mean, to be honest, I know there are a lot of people out there that sit there and go, pineapple. Pineapple on pizza is gross. Listen, dude. There's not much you could. You could probably just take a full onion and put it on top of a pizza, and it would still be good. Pizza's never not good. It doesn't really matter what you're putting on it. Once you start contaminating the pizza, though, once you start taking off the cheese, once you start taking off the sauce, then it becomes less of a pizza and more of, like, bread with random things on it. So... Pizza in and of itself is like a non-fucking up food. You can't really do shit with it. That that would make it bad. Mm. We're gonna try the wings here. First time trying bone and wings. She was, okay, I remember. She was like, I think she was a vegan for a really long time or like a pescapitarian or something like that. Like, she, I think she only ate fish. So I think, I think that she's never actually had chicken up until that one time that she had Ah, oh, man, I forgot what the name of that was. Uh, there was a chicken place that she had went to, and that was the first time she ever had chicken, which is crazy, dude. You would think you would go to, like, a, I don't know, a black family's cookout or something like that to get the real genuine good good versions of chicken or whatever. Whenever You know, usually if you go to, like, black cookouts, they have the good versions of the food. But she went to a fast food place, which is diabolical, dude. Like, breaking your, you know, selling your soul, basically, for some fast food chicken is insane. And I guess this is her first time ever eating bone-in chicken I uh, all right cool bro i mean that's that that is the default chicken though bone-in chicken it, it's it's actually weirder to have chicken that doesn't have the bone in because that just means they did something to take the bone out they look ju oh my god it's dripping they look juicy yo <laughs> if you if you just close your eyes when you heard that you know what it would have sounded like just close your eyes real quick when she said that listen they look ju oh my god it's dripping they look juicy oh. Mm, I'm not sure what the sauce is, but I think I like it. What do you mean you think you like it? Why are you mm. breathing like that? I don't like hearing people who do that. Oh, it smells like buffalo. What? It, you don't know? Why don't you know what it is? I mean, I, I get it that she's in a different country, so maybe they have different, like, understandings or different types of foods and stuff and different condiments, perhaps, but... Like, why is she questioning everything that she's eating? Do you do, do they not have, like, a translate option off whatever you're ordering on? Or are you just calling up and be like, just give me everything or just give me anything? Is that what it is? Because there's no reason why you shouldn't know what this is. Damn. Yeah, it's buffalo. That's good. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy that it's buffalo. At least you, we've authenticated what the food is. Oh, no, Burger King is insane, dude. You out there in Taiwan still eating Burger King? Burger King? Somebody got to let me know, okay? Here in America, Burger King is not a place that usually, usually a lot of people go to. You'll find a few people in there every once in a while. Usually society looks upon them not kindly because the social ramifications of going to a Burger King are far-reaching. Like, people are judging you. Um, if somebody catches a picture of you in the Burger King, 
that might be a career over for you. That might just be the end of your life. Like, you people are going to persona non grata you. They're going to kick you out of wherever you live. I don't know. They're, they're going to forsake you, right? Somebody can, somebody can let me know. Maybe in Taiwan it's better. I don't know. Usually it's kind of weird when I find out that people in other countries eat, like, KFC. I, hope, I know in, like, Japan it's, like, really, really prolific and a lot of people like to eat KFC in Japan. But here in America, we don't even eat KFC, bro. Like, there's not a lot of people that go there. And it's not even that bad, but it's also, like, really, really disgusting food. And also, I've never been into a KFC that wasn't just absolutely disgusting on the inside. Like, walking into it, there's a 20% chance you're going to slip because of all the grease that's accrued. There's, like, an inch of grease. Like, you walk in, and your feet sink into the floor because how much grease is on the floor. There's always a homeless guy at one of the chairs. He's just slumped over. He's got one of those big buckets or whatever that's empty. And you're walking in. You're ordering that shit. The dude behind the counter is probably high, and he's asking you, yeah, man, what you want, dog? He's not even looking at you. And you just tell him, you get in the wrong order guaranteed, but you probably don't want to go back up there and tell him you got the wrong order because you might die. So it's never a good thing, dude. I don't know. Um, I haven't been to a KFC in probably eight or nine years at this point. And the last time I was there, that was the exact scenario, dude. I was basically like slipping into the floor. But here in America, nobody goes there. Somebody can let me know. Maybe in Taiwan it's different. Or maybe in your country, you can let me know. I think that's a paper straw, by the way. Diabolical. I know. I get it, dude. I understand. The sea turtles, right? Are we really using paper straws nowadays, dude? Come on. She always... Just for some just for some understanding, the reason why she makes that one eye movement right there, like she's having a stroke, she said previously that when she indulges in on those big slurps, because that's her signature at this point whenever she starts her videos, is that she has to suck up a giant gulp with the straw or whatever drink she's drinking... It hurts. She said that ver verbatim that it hurts a lot in her mouth and her throat when she sucks up as much liquid as she does. But she knows she has to do it because her fans love it. And you know they love it. I mean, look at this. Look at the views, bro. I mean, 58,000 likes, bro. This video's easy. Got over 2, 3 million views. It looks a lot better than the American ones. I'll give it that. If you, if you got something from Burger King that was... Uh, I, there's there's a good chance it looked like somebody stepped on it. It looked like somebody took your burger and like threw it on the floor and just started like you know stomping that shit out. And uh, or somebody or somebody sat on it. It's always squished. You ordered a fish sandwich though. Good lord. She got the fries too, right? Where the fries at? Let me see the fries. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. It's not fries. L for large, I'm guessing. Or maybe L for your whole life. What a tough life, man. This is... This is just sad, bro. Go to Taiwan, rent out a fucking ginormous pad and... Just eat random fast food items that you could have easily gotten in America and the other rooms, all the other rooms. Maybe you get in the hot tub and you start indulging in a couple domino slices. Get wing stopped three or four times. Good shit. Good shit, Jelly Bean. Yep. Yeah, it's good. I'm sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, here comes the fries. The mouth noises are just... Oh! Where's the microphone? Like, it, the mouth noises are so apex. I, but I just don't see where the microphone is where we're picking up this much mouth noises, dude. Maybe it's inside her mouth. Maybe it's actually inside the mouth because I'm not seeing anything. Usually you have, like, the little, what do they call that thing? I forgot what it's called. But you have that, like, little mic that they use on Mary Povich. And it looks like she doesn't have that. It looks like it's just, where is it? Maybe it's on the phone. It's just a really good microphone, I guess. I don't know, bro. I'm not really into it. I don't like mouth noises at all, bro. I'm, I'm completely disturbed by it. I don't like being around people that open or use their mouth in this way. I don't think this is... I'm sure that the reason why she does the mouth noises this particular way is because a lot of people like it. A lot of people do like it. And I don't, but a lot of people do like the mouth noises. I think it might just be the emulation of seeing a woman make mouth noises is, like, really, really attractive, maybe. I'm not really with that to be honest dude i think i'd rather like lick the brim of a glory hole than listen to these noises on a consistent basis like this bro it, it, it's it's so disturbing to me and i'm pretty sure like i said she's making it worse like i, I i'm 100 percent sure that this is not actually the way she eats food 
She's just doing it for the views, which is... I guess there are worse things you can do for the views. But that's a that's a cope, bro. That's a cope. I'm sick of people saying that. Like, there's worse things that you can do. Like, I guess I can kill somebody. But, like, Jesus Christ. Like, is that really the bar? Like, we're gonna have for this person, dude? Like, you're out here in Taiwan eating BK, bro. Like, there's nothing else you could do, bro. Where the sushi at, bro? Where the other food? I don't even know what you eat in Taiwan, bro. Whatever. Eat that. Eat the Taiwanese food or whatever you call that shit. Taiwanesean food. I don't know. Eat that while we eating Burger King. Burger King? BK? Have it your way? Nobody even has it their way in America. Why are you doing this shit in fucking Taiwan, bro? Disappointment, dude. Disappointment. It's too watery. It's just like your mouth is way too watery, dude. Just, just fucking, just, just drink the fries. Why are you even taking one at a time? Just take the fries, coat them with a little ketchup, and just drink them at this point. Damn, one fell out. You try to get away. The fry try to run away. You guys want to take bets on whether that one survives or not? That should try to run. Oh, oh, maybe it survives. <sighs> GG to that fry that survived, dude. We'll give it that. We'll give that fry survival, man. He tried to really run away, and he got away. Maybe not, probably. Yeah, it's probably RIP. I'm going to keep it a buck, dude. That, that fry ain't going to survive, dude. But he tried to get away. He tried to get away, dude. The one that got away, but ultimately probably never did. Look at this fucking shot. What am I even looking at right now? Look, I can't watch anymore. I, I, I'm thoroughly disturbed by jelly bean sweets and you know what dude uh, a lot of people aren't a lot of people watch her religiously if you look on her or her, TikTok, her tiktok they love it man there are so many people out there that are obsessed with this girly and she living her best life dude she's spending money she's out here catching bags she catching flights about to catch another flight apple bottom make them want to bite she's out here doing it big dude real big she getting all that good views from eating the food that she is you know what I'm gonna start mukbanging, dude. I'm gonna start body slamming four, five, six, seven thousand calories a day. I don't know what it's gonna be though. I already struggle to eat what I need to eat in a day, but it's uh, it's gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to do it, dude, because this woman making way too much right now, and I feel like I'm not being included. I feel like I need a little bit of something extra now. But regardless, you're my little something extra. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, I appreciate it very much. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all those things. Um, I'd appreciate because it helps me grow in the algorithm. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in, I don't I don't even know, dude, like bread, I guess, dude. It seems like this is like, that's like the most thing that she eats is just carbohydrates. So just type in bread. Bread is beautiful, especially like freshly baked bread. There's a, um, there's like a Puerto Rican supermarket down by where I live and it's really, they make fresh bread daily. And if you get in there at the right time when they just get it out the oven, Ooh, man, that, it just kind of, I'll just eat the entire thing. Like, I'll just eat the whole loaf of bread by myself, dude, because it's just so good. There's just something special about fresh bread. And uh, the, you can't get it from any other foods, right? When you smell that, when you smell the yeastiness, when you smell that, the freshness of it, dude, or whatever you want to call it, it's just something good about it. Something in my mouth just starts watering, thinking about that, the long flavored sticks of dough. It's just, it's just good, man. I love it in my mouth. Um, there's a reason why for like half of our entire lifespan of humanity, people have been eating bread because it's a delicacy. It's a beautiful thing. It's a magnificent thing. Just kind of like you. You're a magnificent thing. Obviously not in the same way that bread is because people eat bread, but I don't want to eat you. I want to consume you in the sense of like, I want to consume your aura. I want to consume your, your, your hygiene. I want to consume the way you look because you just look are and feel amazing consistently and that kind of makes me feel better right you ever you're ever around somebody that has great energy that's you you have good energy and that makes my energy elevate as a consequence of that so thank you so much for encouraging me to be a better person and i really really enjoy you watching this video tonight thank you so much for taking time out of your day i appreciate you i think you're an amazing person and i like smelling your eyebrows consistently by the way especially when you're sleeping and you don't know about it they smell amazing but regardless uh if you guys want to check out my social media be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.